Yeah, Auschwitz is basically um, a mix between a documentary and a feature film. And uh, we have uh, interviews in, uh, with school kids in Germany about what they know about Auschwitz, what they think about Auschwitz. And we show a typical day in a death camp. Yeah? So Auschwitz, we don't uh, uh, show Auschwitz in Auschwitz, right? It's just a concentration camp, a death camp. So, but because what I don't want is that the people now start, oh, the barrack here was not how it was in Auschwitz. Yeah? So it's, Auschwitz is, for me, the Holocaust, basically. Yeah? And if you grow up in Germany, I think it has a, a big meaning. The word Auschwitz means the killing of six million people. So, um, and we show one normal day in a concentration camp. I think this kind of movie was missing uh, in the long row of Auschwitz movies, uh, um, or of movies about the Holocaust or uh, the Hitler time. So this reason, uh, I think it was necessary to show uh, kind of the truth about how it really was. For example, that 50% of the people got killed uh, right away. So they, have, they never made it overnight in Auschwitz, basically, you know. And if you see a lot of movies, you see people, uh, whole family stories uh, going on in the, in, in, the, in the concentration camp, what is basically not true when we talk about Auschwitz. No, I think there are tons of movies made about special stories, heroes, survivors, uh, uh, or the pianist, the boy with the strip pajama. So you have like this kind of stories about uh, this time um, where we where we portray, uh, yeah, some people they made it through or uh, they got famous, Geschwister uh, Scholl, uh, Anne Frank, whatever. Uh, I think it was time in now where we have fifty percent of the people almost uh, on earth, they, they don't know about the Holocaust anymore, or they don't care, yeah, or they even deny the Holocaust. I think it's important at one point to show what it really was. It was a killing. It was like a huge uh, meat plant, a huge uh, butchery, basically, uh, and, and uh, an organized killing of, uh, of, of millions of people. And this movie shows it. It actually shows what happens to the people. It is with the, we are with the camera in the gas chamber and uh, uh, in the oven and so on to make it physically like, like that you that you feel it what what actually uh, happened. And I think of course it's frightening, it's disturbing, it's very hard, and I think a lot of people will have huge problems to watch this. But on the other hand, I think it's necessary. You know, we don't have German heroes in the movie. They are just doing their job like robots, right? So, and uh, because then I think the audience will have that huge emotional thing to say, how can they do that? This is absolutely absurd, yeah? So during people getting gassed, gassed in the movie, we have other guys talking about who goes on holidays next. And then, you know, like th th I think this was important to show, to show in the movie more uh, uh, how, how the reality uh, was. I think it's important to, to mention also, I'm only in the movie because the Croatian extras failed to get these people in the gas chamber. So uh, the, I had the Nazi guys, the extras, they were responsible for the undressing and to put the people into the gas chamber and it just didn't work. They were not harsh enough. They were not like telling the guy, put your pants down, socks out, shoes off and go in the gas chamber. There were people walking in with flip flops, you know, and, and, and uh, whatever, like uh, underwear on. Yeah, and I was sitting behind my video monitor and I was flipping out. I said, we are, we are not in a whatever, in whatever in a movie. We're in a fucking Auschwitz movie. The people are naked. Period. Yeah, so you get naked and you get into that gas chamber. So and this is the reason I put the uniform on because then I was physically there and could grab people and could say uh, out, in. Yeah, so um, this is but uh, that it was in the teaser is of course like kind of disturbing because people think, oh, Uwe Boll is a Nazi. He, uh, <laughs> yeah, he is actually happy to play a guy like this to uh, to see the people behind him in the gas uh, chamber die. But the fact is that we totally didn't thought about a teaser where I shot the scene or where I shot the movie. Uh, but when I made the decision to do the teaser in the way it was, um, the decision was really to do something to shock. You know, to, to say, boom, here is the Auschwitz movie. This is what the movie is about. And not doing a storytelling a, a, a teaser or something. Yeah, I could make a totally different trailer. But I think it was important to, to just get the message across why I did the movie with the, with the teaser. So that I'm then the guy standing there is basically an accident. 
yeah, I think that a lot of people uh, got it during I was shooting what the purpose of the movie is, yeah, and that they uh, turned into a kind of proud. For example, Charlie, the editor, Charles Lepmerl, uh, he loves Auschwitz. He, he says this is a fucking great movie, so he totally enjoys uh, uh, editing it, yeah, and this is not a movie where people get extra payments for or whatever, yeah, so it's, and, and uh, especially in post-production, everybody is doing us favors, uh, and, and uh, they all do it, like, way under their normal rates, yeah, so, and I think now, like, my post-supervisor, Jonathan Shaw, he's Jewish, Koa Kruse in the post-production is Jewish, they also like the movie a lot, they think it's necessary to show this horror, basically, what actually uh, happened for real. No, I, I, I think that uh, the biggest crimes in history should be never like forgotten, right? And, and, and also the biggest genocides in general, if you have Srebrenica, if you have Rwanda, if you have in the Congo or Darfur or whatever, uh, shows that we didn't learn from Auschwitz enough, that we accept things like this still going on, not interfering, not stopping it. And I totally regret as a German what happened at this point of, of, of history. But when people ask me, are you as a German feel responsible for the Holocaust? No, because I'm born 1965 and it would be completely unlogical to say I'm responsible. But as a country we are responsible and as a country where something like this happened, I think it's important that people uh, 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 in that country are aware of it. And this is the reason I did the school interviews, because if you go in the gymnasium in Germany, people know it. But if you go to the Hauptschule and Sonderschule, people just have no clue. There were girls, they said uh, uh, Auschwitz was a cooking, uh, 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 they do uh, cooking pots. And I found later out, where I was sitting at home and watched the interview again, I, I felt, yes, in Schindler's list, they make pots. So she maybe saw, the only thing what she ever heard about the Holocaust was, yes, I saw a movie at one point, right, and they did pots. And she thought that Schindler's uh, company is Auschwitz, but not the concentration camp or something. But what I mean is, like, if, if you go down in, uh, in the edit, education system, if, if you go down to the people on the streets, uh, even in Germany, a lot of people just don't know anymore what it was, or they don't care. And, but how is it then in other countries? I think in other countries, they just have no clue. Yeah? They go in India on the street, or China, or Korea, or Brazil, or Argentina. I don't think you are so lucky with uh, that you find people that have tons of information about the Holocaust. And from this point of view, I think it's important to have a movie where you almost documentary show what actually happened. Because if you put in 100 years of movies all together, you have feature movies with heroes like Schindler, and you have documentaries where you have very thin people behind, uh, 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 behind fences when the Americans came in and filmed the Auschwitz survivors or the dead people in the snow. But to be honest, nobody knows what happened in between. And I think this gap I close, yeah? I, I, with the movie, we just close that gap that we give the information exactly what happened uh, with the people that came in and they were ashes a few hours later. Uh, this is what, what, what the movie shows. And this reason I, I make movies like this, I, I want that the, uh, the action or the positive emotions coming out of the audience. So the audience has to create uh, their solutions and not me. I show only how it, how it looks like or how it is.